certain media outlets are downplaying the positive developments and amplifying the negative, they are erasing the remarkable story of success and future by replacing it with a new narrative of a sick economy of the world, fueled by old stereotypes and prejudices. This only adds to the polarization and sense of disempowerment. But the way I see it, Turkey has strategically oriented itself to seize future opportunities, aiming to become a leading self-sufficient economy. The key drivers of its growth, beyond a young educated workforce and technological advancements, seem to be built on this four-pillar strategy. The first pillar of this strategy is building a strong industrial base. This entails the ability to produce and manufacture, whether it's physical goods, services or digital products. From crafting simple car parts, It's for Renault, they make it. This one is made for the Ford. To manufacturing their own drones and electric cars, and even venturing into space, Turkey has continuously expanded its economic foundation. The second pillar in this four-pillar strategy is infrastructure. Turkey has placed a strong focus on establishing a robust infrastructure that supports its industrial growth. Hard infrastructure like roads, bridges, tunnels, and digital networks coupled with soft infrastructure in the form of services and institutions has enabled the seamless delivery of goods and services both physically and digitally. We are at one of the Istanbul train stations where those fast trains are leaving. If you read newspapers years ago, they would have told you that there is no economy to build railway lines, tra fast trains, airports, all of this infrastructure. But we are looking at uh, some of these achievements, fast trains, right in front of us. So, if you believe the newspapers, according to them, this shouldn't be here. But we are looking at it. The third pillar of this strategy is monetary and fiscal policies. To safeguard this industrial base and infrastructure, Turkey adopted strategic policies. These measures were designed to reverse the effects of dollarization and hence lira usage known as lirization and foster economic independence. It is not just about protecting the economy from financial shocks, but also about ensuring that policies support economic growth and work in favor of the nation's long-term interests. The fourth pillar of this strategy is energy independence. Energy independence, through the exploration of domestic sources like oil, gas and nuclear, plays a pivotal role in Turkey's growth story. It not only reduces the need for importation, but also decreases production costs, making the economy more competitive. By focusing on industrial diversification, infrastructure development, strategic policy implementation and energy independence, Turkey is not just preparing for the future, it is actively shaping it.